you probably heard the cliche, fake it till you make it uh, in the achievement world. Well, I'd like to uh, bust that myth for a moment because, uh, and it explains something about human behavior that could make a difference and help you achieve even more. See, you have a set of priorities, a set of values that you live your life by. Whenever you set goals that are congruent and aligned with the highest values, you have the highest probability of achievement. You have the highest awareness of opportunity, you have quick decision making, and you take actions with determination and persistence. You achieve, you walk your talk, you wake up natural born leadership. But whenever you're setting goals that are not congruent with your highest values, you decrease the probability of achievement. You tend to procrastinate, hesitate, frustrate, you get distracted easily, and there you come across the idea, well, fake it till you make it. Well, I disagree with that. I don't think faking it is a necessary pathway. I think setting goals that are in your core competence, that are truly congruent with what you really value, and breaking down goals into small bites where you can do little baby action steps to make big dreams that are congruent with what you value most and what your life demonstrates that you spontaneously do from within, and then consistently take actions on it, you will automatically persevere. See, there are some areas of your life that you are automatically inspired from within to do. That's your highest value. Just like the boy that does video games, he loves his video games. He doesn't need to be motivated or incentivized or reminded to do his video games. He just loves his video games. Well, you have something in your life that is truly highest on your value, that's most congruent, that is most meaningful, that is your core competence, that you're already great at. And if you set goals in line with that, you don't need to fake anything. You just keep making things happen and keep doing incremental changes. Little baby steps make big dreams come true and you will automatically do that. Now, if you set a goal that's not aligned with your values and you keep having a hesitation on it and you keep thinking, well, I need to, I've, I've got anxieties and fears associated with it, then that's a symptom of an unclear, uncongruent goal. And so many people are setting up fantasies instead of true goals and then they wonder why they're having anxieties and fears and why they feel like I have to fake it and try to act like they're confident when they're not. Because the, the lack of confidence is a symptom and it's basically letting you know that you're trying to be somebody you're not, you're trying to set goals that aren't yours, you're trying to live by priorities that aren't really important to you, and then you're having these self-depreciating feelings. And you can't override it by faking it. You use those feelings to guide you to set real goals and set real competence and set things that are realistic in your objectives. The second you do, if, see, if I set a goal to go and, and research and teach, I'll achieve it. If I set a goal to cook and drive, I'll procrastinate. So if I try to fake it that I'm going to be a good driver and I'm going to go and make an, open up a, a cupcake manufacturing company and I try to fake it, I'm going to self-defeat because I'm trying to be somebody I'm not. So I don't want you to fake it. I want you to find out what's truly inspiring to you, that's truly meaningful to you, that you dedicate your energies to, that, is, that spontaneously emerge that you want to act on and break it down into actions that are so simple that you just go and do them, get them done and build up momentum doing these baby action steps until they build momentum, until you're confident and solid about what you're doing. You won't be lacking confidence in your highest values, but you're designed to have a lowered confidence in your lower. You're automatically devalue yourself and, de and basically lose your incentive when you're doing something that's not meaningful. So don't fake it till you make it. Go and do something that's truly meaningful to you and go make it happen. You will do that. You don't have to have anxiety when you do that. You'll just have actions that inspire you. If you're doing something that's not inspiring to you, you're trying to do something that's not truly important. Why go for things that aren't important in your life? Why not structure your life according to what's really valuable to you and know yourself, be yourself, and you'll love yourself? That is the basic and ancient proverb and it still holds true to today. So give yourself permission to do something extraordinary by living a congruent by what you value most. And don't worry about faking it. You don't need to. You can just be the real you. The most authentic you is the one that you're going to appreciate the most and it's going to make the biggest difference.